Well, most people would rather go out and enjoy themselves at a hotel than stay home and learn about history. In this video, we're gonna do both. In the 1830s and 40s, Wisconsin was inundated by American pioneers moving westward, growing the population from 3,000 to 300,000 during those decades. To help people get around this territory, which was still considered a pristine wilderness, stagecoach lines carried settlers to their destinations throughout the state. And dotting these stagecoach routes were the state's first inns and taverns, which gave rest and entertainment to travelers. Despite their abundance two centuries ago, only a handful of these inns remain, but they're some of the oldest surviving buildings in Wisconsin. The Dousman Stagecoach Inn was built in 1843 on the Plank Road from Milwaukee to Watertown. A half day's ride out of Milwaukee, it was a popular oasis for rest and drinks on the journey westward. It was built in the Greek Revival style, which had become a huge trend by that time and was the first major wave of frontier architecture after the log cabin. So even though it might seem old-fashioned to us, it was actually very stylish and modern. In the city of Delafield, also west of Milwaukee, travelers could rest at Hawk's Inn. Nelson Hawk was its jovial innkeeper, known for his excellent drinks, cleaned rooms, and good-humored antics. One story recalls how a traveler arrived at the inn and received instructions from Mr. Hawk to be silent as he was shown a room full of nuns. The traveler left for lodging down the road, convinced by Mr. Hawk, that the inn was actually a convent. There was also a skilled cook at Hawk's Inn who was known to be able to take a live chicken and kill, butcher, and begin boiling it all in under three minutes. In 1848, Sylvanus Wade built his halfway house in Greenbush on a plank road connecting Sheboygan to Fond du Lac. Its top floor was where guests slept. Like many inns in those days, a busy night might require cramming two or three strangers into a twin-sized bed, or even packing them in tightly on the floor especially as traffic increased into the 1850s. Milton House featured a unique hexagon tower built in 1844. Alcohol was frowned upon in the city of Milton, and unlike in Hawks Inn, no alcohol was served in Milton House. One story tells of a person who burst into the tavern demanding rum at once. Joseph Goodrich, the landlord, said to him, There's the well. Help yourself to all the Milton rum you want. Milton House was part of the Underground Railroad Network, helping slaves to escape northward, and even hosting Sojourner Truth one time. In the 1850s, railroads began to replace the stagecoach routes, and a new generation of inns and hotels were built at the new railroad stops and expanding tourist destinations. Although most of the earliest inns lost traffic after that and had to close down, people have worked to preserve some of these places, along with the echo of the many stories that happened within them.